Welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. We are taking a look at who is impacting negatively your love and romance life. We're going to take a look at the zodiac signs Aquarius through Capricorn of individuals who could be operating in lower karmic energies, focusing on you that you may not even be aware of or that you um, don't necessarily associate with or um, maintain any type of connection with. That could be negatively impacting your love and romance life so regardless if you are single or married or dating or whatever your current status is we're going to take a look at the zodiac sun signs um of each zodiac sign that could be operating in this energy being a negative impact and hindrance to you so the individuals could hold this as their sun sign or they could have significant placements of each zodiac sign um that I am speaking of in their birth chart. So be sure to watch from the beginning to the end um, to get more helpful information. Now we are going to look at the first position for each zodiac sign representing what exactly the individual um, is doing that is negatively hampering your relationships or your love and romance life. And then we'll look at what their karmic ramification is going to be. So starting with the zodiac sign of Aquarius if you have an individual who has uh, this energy in their birth chart that is negatively impacting your love and romance like we have the five of Pentacles this individual um, wants to cause some type of suffrage in your life or they want to see you suffering so they could be wishing on your downfall or they could be trying to cause situations to negatively impact your health your finances your work your career um, this could be someone like trying to get you and your partner evicted, um, thrown out um, to be homeless. Uh, this also could be someone who's negatively wishing ill will on your health and wellness. Uh, but I'm seeing someone who's just overall just wishing that every area of your life fails. That's what I'm getting with the five of pentacles. Someone just wishing on your downfall and wishing that essentially like you never recuperate um, to find love or that you and your uh, romantic partner are just in a, a pitiful um, energy and vibration of just loss and lack. What their karmic ramification will be, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So this could be someone, if they hold some type of uh, significant position, if they have some type of significant wealth, um, I feel like their finances are going to be negatively impacted. They may get demoted or fired. I'm also seeing um, their sense of freedom will be uh, stripped from them is what I'm hearing. So this either their financial freedom that they're used to having, um, they won't be able to maintain the lifestyle that they're currently living um, or they're going to severely be like restricted in some way. They won't be able to enjoy the things that they love to enjoy in their everyday life okay um this even could be someone going to jail or being in prison um because i'm getting their uh, freedom is going to be restricted or stripped from them and also i'm getting an energy of vanity so this could be someone who they they may age rapidly they may age poorly um but there also is going to be some type of very blatant obvious either like deformation or maybe negative implication to like their uh, physical appearance okay if you have an individual that has significant placements of Pisces that is negatively impacting your relationship we have the tower card so this individual wants a major destruction to just occur in your love and romance life for those of you in relationships, this could be someone who just wants you and your love interest to just get in the worst like argument or fight or um, for something just so severe catastrophic to happen between the two of you that it's irreparable. So this could be someone just definitely wishing on a sudden um, divorce or a sudden breakup like things could be going perfectly and then. All of a sudden you and your partner just like break up or your partner and you just start arguing 
um, or your partner just starts being real mean to you or something like that. So this definitely is giving me an energy of someone doing like magic and spells to try to cause some type of very uh, catastrophic event in your partnership. For those of you where you are single, I definitely just see someone um, wishing like the unthinkable, the unthinkable, the unimaginable onto you so that you are so distraught that either no one would want to deal with you or that you're just put in such uh, uh, energy that you cannot recover or come back from that. So someone is wishing uh, some type of very ill-fated um, negative implication that's going to destroy you that would ultimately just make people not want to um, ever be in a relationship with you or for you to ever be able to recover or recuperate and uh, find love in your life. Um, what this person's negative implication is going to be, we have the princess of wands. So in one instance, what I'm seeing is these individuals with this Pisces energy, they're going to have hell to pay because they're going to have some type of karmic energy um, re uh, returned back to them by their kids. So if they have children, their kids are going to be held to pay. Okay. If this is not a child um, or they can't have children, this is going to be a situation where um, it may be a love interest that could be maybe younger than them, or they have a very young, youthful type of energy that's going to be essentially like their downfall or destroy them. Okay. And they're not going to see this coming. If you're dealing with um, someone who has Aries placements that is negatively impacting or not dealing with if, if there is someone who with ne uh, Aries placements that is negatively impacting your relationship we have the free will card so this is someone who um, wants to impact your ability to be able to essentially have the type of love life that you want it's almost like this person kind of wants some type of control over your love life so in some instances this could be a very domineering like parent or this could be someone who has just a very domineering energy it's like it's almost like this person either wants to control the fate of how your love life goes so they're either trying to control it so that no one comes towards you and no one is interested in you or this is someone literally trying to control the type of individuals that come into your life it's like they want to play matchmaker they want to be the one who gets to pick and choose who you're dating, who you're seeing, and who you're going to be with. So be mindful of that as well, too. Um, this this could be someone who has that type of um, takeover type of spirit, and they always want to hook you up. Or, and um, I got the I got the perfect person who who would be for you. This, this this is giving me that type of energy. This is someone who wants to control who you're with. Um, also, because in some instances, this is an individual who doesn't want you to be with a particular person, maybe because they have interest in that person, maybe because a person who they know has interest in that person, um, or they're just a hater and they don't want to see you get the love that you actually truly deserve. This is also giving me the energy of someone who's constantly doing um, like psychic readings on you or having psychic readings on, on you because this person is always trying to stay ahead of you, like 10 steps ahead of you to know what's going on in your love and romance life so they could sabotage it or control it in some type of mean and manner. What this individual is going to be met with, we have the nine of swords. So their karmic um, ramification is going to be, they're going to drive themselves into some type of mental I'm hearing mental institution so this individual might have to get checked into a mental institution but I'm getting like some type of self-deprecating um, misery um, the fact that this individual is not able to understand and comprehend why you keep attracting the type of partners you attract um, why you're still able to be successful in your love life why you're able to move on from this individual why they can't control you it's like gonna be this own person's like downfall and misery and it's gonna drive them insane i'm once again i'm hearing insane asylum so this could definitely be someone who ends up going to some type of mental asylum or mental institution um because they're so over worried and concerned about what you're doing if you're dealing with someone who has significant place or if there is someone who has significant placements of Taurus that's negatively impacting your love and romance life, we have the judgment card. So with the judgment card, this is someone who is on a smear campaign. Anyone who is willing to listen, anyone who they who whose attention they could grab and tell things about you, this is this individual's duty. Because with the judgment card, I'm getting like someone is on a mission, someone is on a duty to try to 
get people to hear their side of a situation or get people to try to believe some type of perception about you that they want to put out there and misconstrue. So this could be someone always trying to reach out to your partners. Um, if you, you know, continue to have new relationships and your relationships fail and you move on to someone else, this is this individual always in your individual's ear or always getting some type of communication to your partner um, to try to spread um, maleficent like information to smear your perception in your partner's eyes. If you're currently with someone, this is someone who's constantly trying to be in your partner's ear. Or like I said, get the word to your partner um, so they can have some type of control over how someone is seeing you okay for some of you this could be a very judgmental parent um so this could be someone who is either your love interest parent your potential love interest parent or this could be your parent you know but they're always on a smear campaign it's a few things this individual is giving me a very miserable energy so for some of you this is someone who is always trying to tell you that no one is faithful everyone cheats they're always talking about stories of how they got played how things didn't go their way how you know no one's to be trusted um this is someone always prejudging a, a individual before they've even met them they don't know anything about a person but they always are talking about someone in a negative light so this is someone first and foremost who loves to talk way too much and then they're always trying to negatively impart some type of um, perception about either you to other individuals or they're in your ear trying to mislead you and deter you from wanting to be in a relationship and to try to sway your perception so that you don't want to be in a relationship or you don't want to be with this person or vice versa if this is someone else um, that they're doing this to towards you what is going to be this person's uh karmic ramification we have the queen of cups energy so with the queen of cups energy i feel like when it comes time to this individual needing someone i'm hearing a saving grace needing someone to have their best interest at heart needing someone to console them to be sympathetic kind um nurturing towards them i feel like they're not going to get the warm receptivity that they may need because i feel like this is someone who's always smearing other people's and trying to tarnish other people's perception of love or just perception of like their mate or something like that so i just feel like when it comes time to this person like when it comes time to for someone to speak up in regards to this individual no one's going to have good things to say about this individual or when they need someone to turn to because this could very well be someone that you go to and you look to this individual to give you some good sound advice and then they always tell you some advice that is like to deter you and to falsely mislead you so that you feel miserable. I'm getting like Ebenezer Scrooge energy. So this is someone who's miserable. Misery loves company. They want you to feel miserable as well too. Or this is someone who's doing this to an individual who you're in a relationship with or a potential love interest who wants to come towards you to try to deter them. And I feel like when it comes time to someone to speak up or have this person's best interest at heart or when they go to individuals for counsel or sympathy and whatnot, they're not going to have people to turn to. and They're not going to have people who are nice, warm, receptive um, or to be compassionate or comforting for them or anyone to stand up and speak good about them when they're not in the company of other individuals. If you're dealing with someone who has significant um, Gemini placements that are negatively impacting your love and romance life. We have the Ace of Swords energy. So I feel this Gemini is out there running their mouth, bumping their gums, talking about uh, intimate details. Um, if you have been with this individual, this person is out there telling people your about your private parts. They're telling people about your sex life. This could be someone showing people like pictures that you've sent them, um, text messages. I feel like this is someone who's out there like showing private intimate things that you and this individual may have had or did between the two of you with other individuals okay 
I'm even hearing falsifying. So this could be someone also falsifying information, trying to make it seem like you're still talking to them. So whether this is an ex or a fling or a, a whatever this was, I'm getting, for those of you who were dealing with this Gemini individual, they're out here falsifying text messages and things of that nature to make it seem like you're still with this individual. So this could be someone trying to sabotage and come between a relationship that you have. Now, this also could be someone who um, is gaslighting you is what I'm getting and your love life. So they could be gaslighting a potential individual who wants to come towards you. Like, oh, you sure you want to be with that person? I mean, I heard this person does this, this, and that. Are you sure you want to talk to that individual? Well, such and such said they talked to that individual. Da, 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 da. Are you sure you want to go with that zodiac sign? I heard this about <laughs> that certain zodiac sign. So this could be someone gas gaslighting someone as well, too, who has um, interest in you. Or this could be you directly that they're doing this, too, and trying to make it seem like they have your best interest at heart, but they really don't. Um, what's going to be this individual's karmic ramification? We have the six of wands. This individual is going to experience some type of um, public shame and public humiliation. Pure point blank. Whatever this is that this person has been trying to bust out about another individual or trying to put out or make public lying, saying that someone is still in a relationship with them, that someone's talking to them still, or putting out private conversations or private, like, intimate details or pictures or whatever this is that you two may have shared at one point in time this person is going to experience public shame public ridicule and public humiliation if you're dealing with someone who holds significant placements of cancer energy um who could be negatively impacting your relationship we have the ace of wands so i'm seeing a few different energies come up but um i'm hearing sex work so first and foremost this individual could be lying saying that um that either you pay individuals to have sex or that you are someone who gets paid to have sex in another instance what i'm seeing is this person is doing sex magic on you so this is someone who is trying to deter you um from being able to get aroused um, or be attracted to other individuals as well as keep other individuals being attracted to you uh, so that you would only be attracted to them and want to think about them and only um want to have sex with them type of energy what is going to be this individual's karmic ramification we have the two of wands energy so with the two of wands energy come coming through what i'm seeing is a second best i'm hearing second fiddle this person is never going to be the main guy or the main chick this is someone who's always going to be on the sidelines they're going to be the one who doesn't get picked they're going to be the one who is always off in the shadows they're never going to have that main priority spot like they so want um, I just feel like this is an individual where they're dealing with individuals. They're intentionally either getting with people who are um, involved already or they're seemingly ending up in relationships with people who happen to be in involved and they're not going to be the main individual. If this is a person who's with them, this is going to be someone who always feels the grass is greener on the other side as well too. So I'm just getting... Um, second best type of energy when it comes to this individual they're going to be overlooked is what i'm getting so it's like they're, they're having to settle for second best um if this is a individual with significant leo placements um i'm seeing the eight of pentacles come up so what i'm picking up is for some of you you may put more priority into your work and you may be more in love with your work and your career. So this Leo individual is seeing that you value, you honor, you hold this in high regard. And they essentially are trying to sabotage this for those of you who are in relationship with this individual so that you can focus more time and attention on them. If this happens to be a, a female who um, is like the main breadwinner or just is more heavily involved in um focusing on your career and your path of um establishing yourself and your finances and you're dealing with a male individual who you're with i feel this individual could be jealous or insecure because you're not focusing a lot of time and attention on them this also could be someone who's jealous because you may be the breadwinner you may make more money than this individual um so this makes this individual feel insecure or inferior um this also could just be someone who just feels like you're just not giving them enough attention so for some of you you might be dealing with another leo but um 
or someone who has a lot of uh for some of you you might be a leo as well too is what i'm getting so for some of you both of you are leos um but for others of you this is just someone who will just wants more attention on them um as well and you're not giving them a lot of attention so they're trying to sabotage your work because they feel like the work is the priority the work is the, your first love um and for others of you you may hold a very dominant position being a female and the male just feels insecure in this situation and they want to essentially redistribute power by taking away your ability to work for others of you this could be someone who's very traditional as well too um a male that's very traditional and he and he prefers for his woman to not work be the breadwinner or to stay at home and rear the children okay um so i'm getting more so with this energy for those of you that have a leo doing this to you this could be someone who you are in a relationship with for the majority of you Mm hmm and then for others of you this could be someone who i feel like this person wants to work with you um so they could be sabotaging your work because they want to offer you some type of opportunity so that they can work with you so this could be someone who may be a potential love interest um in you and they actually are trying to sabotage your work your finances and your career because they want to work with you they want to offer you some type of career because they want to get close to you interesting so what this individual is going to be met with we have the prince of wands energy oh one more thing um, and for others of you, this could just be someone in your workplace who is just hating on you um, and just negatively trying to impact your love and romance life. So it's either because you may be dating someone in the workplace or that you and this individual um, know of or this individual is aware that someone in the workplace likes you and that's why they're negatively impacting your love and romance life keeping someone from coming towards you um who has the, who's had their eye on you so this also could be in a work environment or in some type of work field or industry that someone is negatively trying to sabotage your work so they could be trying to get you fired or just talking negatively about you in your workspace so that your um potential love interests or the individuals who you're seeing in your work environment um, no longer want to be with you i'm seeing the prince of wands energy come up so in the instance where this is your work environment where you have someone negatively impacting your love and romance life, I feel like this person is going to just all of a sudden um, quit or they will be uh, suddenly like fired. Okay, there's going to be a quick shift, a quick change um, that comes in in regards to this individual to remove them from this workplace or this work environment so for some of you you're aware of who this is others of you you don't even know this individual is doing this behind your back and then for those of you where this is like actually a partner that you're with i'm just getting some type of uh accident prone energy around this individual so they're going to be subject to that type of energy uh, coming towards them some type of accident or mishap if you have a Virgo that is negatively impacting your love and romance life, this individual is trying to uh, keep you from getting married, to keep you from um, getting proposed to. And if you are already married or already engaged, I feel like this individual is trying to disrupt that um, union. But more than anything, I feel like this is those of you where you may have the opportunity to get to to per, um, be proposed to. Or to propose to someone or you're engaged um, and you're waiting to get married so I feel like someone is essentially trying to intervene in the next step of your love life so whatever that would be I just feel like someone is trying to um, cause some type of not even delay I just feel they're trying to make sure something never occurs in regards to you getting to the next step <laughs> um 
taking your relationship to the next step so whatever that would be for you all for a lot of you i'm getting more so it's like someone wanting to propose to you or you being able to propose to someone or you actually like having your wedding okay i feel like yeah this individual is trying to prevent that from occurring but if if you already are in an established relationship i just feel someone wants to disrupt your happy home okay so this could be someone who wants to see uh, a division in your union. So they could be wishing for you to get divorced. What this individual is going to be met with with this Virgo energy, the karmic ramifications, we have the nine of wands. So to me, this is giving me health elements and implications here with the nine of wands. I also feel like their life is going to be at some type of standstill. Okay. For some of you, this is going to be a family member that, that gets um, denied access to your wedding. Or uninvited to your wedding. And then I feel they're just going to be met with a strong sense of overwhelming jealousy. Um, because you're, you all will be um, supported and there's going to be lots of like people celebrating you and loving on you and sending you well wishes and they're just going to be big mad big bitter big jealous having to watch and see this play out for you so it's like they're going to try to delay it or stop it from happening it's still going to occur they're going to be met with some negative health elements and they're going to get denied access to this event. They're going to be uninvited from this event. And they're going to have to watch in their own miserable energy this take place. Knowing that they tried to sabotage it and they couldn't. While they have all types of blockages stagnating them in their life. Okay. If you are dealing or have a Libra individual who's negatively impacting your love and romance life we have the moon card so this libra is very covert and working behind the scenes when it comes to your love and romance life this is someone who is smiling in your face okay and behind the scenes they're doing moon magic to negatively impact and sabotage your love and romance life this could be someone who is working with a high priestess or this individual is secretly covertly a high priestess and you're not aware of this and this person is doing uh, magic against your love and romance life so this very well for some of you could be someone who you know of and covertly they're doing magic against your love and romance life for others of you this is definitely someone who you don't even know this is a random ass person who you don't even know who is negatively trying to impact your love and romance life how they're negatively uh karmically going to experience ramifications we have the king of swords um, this person is going to um, get s some type of legal actions that come against them. I feel like all the while while they're sitting here covertly messing with you behind the veil, what is going to happen to them is they're going to have some type of legal situation come against them. Yeah, so they're going to be facing some type of uh, legalities that they're not going to see coming. So... While they're sitting there harassing you behind the scenes covertly, there's legal situations that they're going to be met with in a very covert manner as well, too, that they don't see coming towards them. And some truth is going to be exposed about this individual. If you have a Sagittarius that is negatively impacting I'm just kidding if you have a Scorpio that is negatively impacting your love and romance life we have another individual here with the star card doing magic 
Yeah, this person um, is not only doing magic, but they're also heavily in your birth chart. Um, looking at your birth chart, trying to see what planetary trends are going on to try to negatively affect your love and romance life as well, too. This is also someone who is praying against your love and romance life. So they're using their prayers to negatively impact your love and romance life instead of wishing for good wishing for world peace wishing for love in their own life this scorpio energy is praying against your love and romance life <laughs> and using magic and up in your birth chart trying to use it against you um and what's going to neg be the negative ramification for this uh, scorpio energy that's negatively impacting your love and romance like we got the princess of pentacles so i feel this individual is going to have trouble around their finances as well too okay um i feel like they're not going to get they're going to get some negative news in regards to their finances and their career but i also feel like this person is going to get some negative news surrounding their health okay um, if you have a Sagittarius that has been negatively impacting your love and romance life, we have the Emperor card here, okay? This Sagittarius is trying to, uh, this Sagittarius could be doing like uh, domination spells over you. So this potentially could be someone who you're in a relationship with or maybe someone who has interest in you, someone who's been watching you. Um, but this person is trying to like, they, they want to dominate you, okay? They, they want to have power over you, free will over you. They want you to, like, obey and do what they say. So I feel like this person is trying to um, do that type of spell work against you. And if it isn't you, then it's either your love interest <laughs> Or your potential love interest that this individual is trying to dominate and they want to essentially um, have power over. So th there's a sense of this individual wanting to have power over another individual. Either you, your love interest, maybe they want both of y'all. But that I feel like that's the spell work this individual is doing. Whoever this is, it's like they definitely watch Okay, so this could be someone who doesn't like to hear the word no. This could potentially be someone that you've rejected um, or that you've turned down. Um, you're not, you you know, you haven't been um, receptive to their advances or their interest in you. Or this could be maybe your partner or your potential love interest. So now this person is using domination spell work to try to, you know, get the person that they want. Their karmic ramification is going to be for the Sagittarius energy that's negatively impacting your love and romance life, the Four of Cups. So I, f I see it um, in the instance that I feel like they're going to get rejection when it comes to opportunities, experiences, and things that they want. Like the things that they go after, I feel like they're going to be like rejected, overlooked. They're going to be given things that they don't want. It seems like people who they're not attracted to are going to be the ones who are who keep being attracted to them when it comes to love and romance, where it's like the very thing that they don't want to happen is going to happen. So I feel like there's going to be some sense of like sadness, loss, grief, or like depression over this because it's like maybe the things that they want, the opportunities that they want, it's like it's going to keep going to other individuals. It's going to keep going to other people and things that they don't want is going to come to them. It's like it's like, okay, just say for instance, like if there's a raffle, right? And you want a certain type of prize and you'd be like, okay, please don't call my name. Please don't call my name for this because I want to get this other raffle. Cause you know, if your name gets called for like a candy bar, then you can't get the hundred dollar visa card. Cause your name is going to be, you know, removed from the, uh, the drawing after that. So this is like this individual saying, <laughs> I want the um, $100 Visa card. I don't want the candy bar. And then their name gets called for the candy bar. You get what I'm saying? So now they're taken out of the running. And they don't have the opportunity to get what they actually want. So that's just on a mundane level. But I'm just seeing um, whatever it is that this individual wants. It's like it's going to go to other people. They're going to have to 
like the, the it, it's just going to be an overwhelming like overt sense of seeing other people get things that they feel they should be getting and they're going to be like overlooked and see other people who are like overbooked I, I, I keep hearing that overlooked and overbooked so they're going to be overlooked and someone else is going to be overbooked so maybe if they do the same thing as someone else career wise they're going to be seeing themselves missing opportunities they're not going to get certain opportunities or they're going to get the opportunities that they don't want and then they're going to see someone else or just other people being overbooked but essentially that's what i'm seeing they're not going to get the things that they want they're going to feel an overwhelming sense of being rejected and overlooked and they're going to see other people prospering and getting the things that they want e and lastly if you are dealing or if there is a capricorn individual okay that is negatively impacting your love and romance life we have the three of cups energy okay so for some of you this is a capricorn individual this could be someone going to your friends trying to get information about you interesting so this could be someone going to your friends trying to obtain information about you now for some of you you are in a relationship already so this could be someone trying to intervene in your relationship and they not only know that you are in a relationship that you could be very well happy in. So I f that's what I feel. I feel like someone is trying to use your friends, your family members, people who are close to you to try to get close to you and mess up your relationship. And they know that you're happy. That's crazy. But I'm seeing a third party energy. So whatever this is, someone is trying to intervene in your relationship. Now, either this person wants you. For others of you, this is someone who wants your partner. So that's how this individual is trying to negatively impact your love and romance life. But if you are single, this individual could be trying to like smooch up your friends and your family so that you like that, that, that they like them that's crazy it's like it's almost like they're trying to get in with your family and your friends so that it's easier for them to get to you so this might be someone who you don't even like or someone that you've rejected before or turned down before or just someone that you're not going to be interested in but it seems very strategic and manipulative the fact that they're trying to go through everybody else to get to you it's like they're trying to put in good words with everyone else and go through everyone else essentially so they can have an in and then everyone else kind of try to like force this person on you like yeah you should get with that person you should get with that person yeah that person likes you because this person is over there buying them drinks and schmoozing them up and bringing them little gifts and gift baskets and stuff trying to get them to like you or trying to get them to like them so they can be in it's interesting so it's like someone feels like by any means that they gonna get with you and they're gonna use your family and friends to help them and they schmoozing with them now this could even be the instance that if it's not you then someone wants your partner and they're doing this to the family and friends of your partner so that they can have an easy in and take try to take your place um yeah the karmic ramification that this individual is going to be met with i just feel like we have the king of wands here someone's not having that so i feel like for some of these individuals they're gonna meet they're gonna meet their match so someone is not gonna tolerate them just coming in willy-nilly trying to take someone's place um I feel like they gonna have they gonna have uh, <laughs> someone who is not just going to allow them to step in I'm getting physical energy okay it could be a physical alteration uh, altercation that occurs um, so things could get very physical with this uh towards this capricorn energy now if it's not 
you per se or your love interest um who this is who is the individual who bestows this upon them i feel like it's just going to be an individual who's been waiting to fight them put it like that someone has been waiting to beat this person up and i feel like someone feels like they deserve it and it, it might get physical with this person i just keep getting the physical energy it's like someone so someone been over this individual and they've been watching this person is what i'm seeing whoever this is someone been watching this person so it's almost like they on someone's shit list okay